We've got to debunk some ridiculous FUD that came out of Mike Novogratz this morning about El Salvador custodying their Bitcoin on the FTX exchange. Now, for the people that have been in Bitcoin uh, for a little while, you you most likely already know that that Mike Novogratz um, just has awful takes all the time. I mean, he got a Luna tattoo on his arm. <laughs> that that should just tell you everything about this guy. Um, and if anybody's ever seen him in an interview, I you know I, I do apologize for going down this road, but but he does look like he's on tons of drugs. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, and again, I'm not judging that. Um, I'm just saying he just looks like he's on a lot of drugs. Um, so maybe you might want to just calm down, you know, so people could take him a little more seriously. But anyways, what is of concern today is that it seems that on CNBC's Squawk Box, he made an assertion that El Salvador was custodying their Bitcoin on the FT on the FTX exchange, which recently just blew up. We've been covering it all week, and it is such a disaster that we will actually be doing the weekly show that we record tomorrow, uh, the show that Walton and I host. The entire show is just going to be the shitcoin corner because that is how ridiculous this whole FTX situation is. But anyways, in this particular clip, we are going to debunk the nonsense the absolute nonsense that El Salvador is custodying their Bitcoin on the FTX exchange. And rather, rather we're gonna explain where their Bitcoin is actually custodied. So let's dive into this article. Okay, so here we go. Novogratz doubts El Salvador's Bitcoins were on FTX. Oh, he, he doubts it, but but it doesn't stop him from, from explaining stupid shit on a public, on a public uh, TV show. Right, like that, that doesn't stop him from from saying some ridiculous garbage on the corporate-owned media channels. CEO of Galaxy Digital, Mike Novogratz, has aired claims on crypto Twitter, noting that El Salvador's Bitcoin holdings were on the embattled FTX. Amidst the distressed FTX situation that has rocked the foundation of the shitcoin space. That's right, not the Bitcoin space, the shitcoin space. Billionaire Mike Novogratz mentioned that he had heard claims that El Salvador's BTC holdings were stored on FTX, prompting concerns as FTX has paused withdrawals amidst insolvency risks. This is CEO of this is CEO of Galaxy Digital, which invests in shitcoins. So you'd think that this guy would do a little more research before speaking so ridiculously on you know on a corporate owned media channel. Anyways, but if anybody, look, for the people who have followed Mike Novogratz and who knows who he is, this is just par for the course, right? Let's huff some glue and then let's tell some stories. My opinion. Anyways, Novogratz made a comment while speaking on CNBC Squawk Box episode on Thursday as he weighed in on the panic pumped into the space by the FTX saga and the ultimate effect on the shitcoin scene. I read... I don't know if it's true that the El Salvadoran government's crypto was on FTX and they're calling for the extradition of Sam. So, so hold on a second. So, so not only did you hear a rumor that, or just make up a rumor that um, El Salvador's holdings were on the FTX exchange, but, but El Salvador is asking for the extradition of Sam. <laughs> oh, what a freaking clown world. Okay, okay, so look, let, let, let's dive into the actual truth. Obviously, obviously, this is BS, right? But where are they actually? You know, it does beg the question, where does El Salvador actually custody their Bitcoin? And who custodies it? So let's dive into that right here. The cryptocurrency service provider Bitco could have in its custody 1,391 Bitcoin that El Salvador owns, at least. That is what Matt O'Dell corroborated on December 31st when he took to Twitter to express his concerns that it is a United States company that has control of the funds of the Central American country. Early in December, Odell shipping a message to Salvadoran President Nayib Bukele from Twitter. Dear President, is it true that a major company based in the States has the Bitcoin of El Salvador? So far, the Bukele government has not answered the question that the renowned Bitcoiner asks himself, like many other members of the community. However, 
an investigation by Odell confirms that indeed Bitco is the custodian of the BTC of the nation, which last September enacted the legal tender of the pioneering cryptocurrency. Okay. So look, it's bittersweet, right? Um, we, we would like to see that the country that uses Bitcoin as legal tender, or let me rephrase that, that has officially announced that Bitcoin is legal tender in its country. Obviously, we would like to see them use self-custody. We would like to see that the government of El Salvador actually does this. Obviously, we'd like to see a solution that they can use. I mean, I, I feel like that would be a very interesting multi-sig wallet. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, but besides that, right? Besides that, um, I, I do, obviously we do have some concerns that it is Bitco that custodies it. Um, I know I had heard once upon a time that it was Coinbase that was, that, that was custodying the, uh, the funds, but anyways, it makes no difference. The reality is why is it a concern that a U.S. entity custodies, um, El Salvador's Bitcoin for them? Um, it's because once you once you've been in Bitcoin for a while, you understand the you, you you understand the mantra, not your keys, not your coin. So if if the Bitcoin is being custodied by one of these counterparties, such as Bitco, okay, one of these custodians, then that means that El Salvador doesn't actually hold the keys to their wallet. And that means that indeed, technically, Bitco if they were a if they were a bad actor they could make off with those funds but the real important piece to this okay number 1 el salvador get on figuring out how to store your own bitcoin as a country number 1 number 2 naib bukele did not get wrecked by sam bankman frieds ftx exchange <laughs>